I love it so much. Right. Making that was like the, was the last thing I do on every episode, and it was. Dean Coffin! So, Dean Coffin is the undergraduate dean of admissions here, and he's incredible. And out of the great room, actor. Yeah, he's a great actor. Yeah. He showed up with his lines memorized, he wanted some <laughs> background character stuff. He was yeah. so good! He, like, the only one that was like 15 minutes like early would ask all these questions. Also, he brought his own entourage, had his camera own camera guy. Yeah, Alonzo. Yeah. Alonzo, Alonzo, he worked for the party. He's such a great guy. Oh, Alonzo no, no. Was it, awesome. This was such a fun and easy shoot. And we were kind of stressed about it because we were like, we only have an hour. We need to get him yeah. out of here. He just came in and was a complete Absolutely. professional. Made it yeah. so yeah, smooth. No. And I just love him as a person mm. because yeah. he's so, not only is he easy to work with, but he's easy to talk with. Yeah. And I got to learn so much about him. Like, for okay. example, we talked a lot about his hands. Yeah. And so we ended up making that a thing. And that's why you get to see most of his hands. Well, we added we'll in that again. scene because it, he said he wanted to be involved. And I think it actually adds a bit of realism to see Jules' dad and like mm. recognize that she is a person outside of this vlog. And, everything. and there's a and world it, outside it, of the vlog. It helps yeah. you believe that there's somewhere for her to go outside of yeah. the, you know, to see someone who isn't part Doesn't of feel that so world. Yeah. Right. And so you're like, okay, she, she can get pulled out yeah. of this world and, and still exist. Also, that, that, the empty desk. Yeah, that was really upsetting. We just kind of cleared off all of him and just stepped onto her bed. Yeah. But even so, like, this was yeah, just very scene. sad. Yeah. Oh, that moment. Mm -hmm. Evie did such a good job. Wait, so like everything behind them that was there is actually to the left of them on a Oh yeah, no, if you pan slightly to the right, you would have seen piles of stuff. <laughs> but... This is my favorite lighting of every ep any episode we did. Yeah. Repeat of the beginning. But you guys are just, it's its so much better because we're having fun now and it's yeah. like all the nervous energy that this was funny was in the first episode. Because yeah, this was the first thing we shot and the second and last thing we shot. So the first time, the first episode two was the first thing we ever shot and then yeah. this was the second and last thing we ever shot. So it, it's funny because there yeah. really was that growth. Wow. Also, this was Valentine's Day. Which makes this me sad. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I remember shooting that. Shooting that. I remember it was that. just depressing. Yeah. Yeah. This is a whole year's worth okay. of work. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Also, Imogen's hair looks fantastic. Yes, yeah. 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 Go ahead. Very, very Got that braid. It looks like, I don't know, it looks like sort of what you'd expect a Juliet in like yeah, a I traditional. Yeah. Right. This is, I think, like the most traditional looking Juliet, yet she's so separate from yeah, she I think, especially the, the profile we just well, saw. Uh, yeah, Again, me obsessing over lighting. It was dark out. Like, yeah, I just well, and this one, light. this is like, and there's an edge light mm -hmm. here that, like, if you see the golden, I can't, why am I pointing it's yeah. for you? There's, a, there's like this golden streak you can see on, on it, and that's from a tungsten, uh, we mixed colors, um, which I love doing, and it's just, oh. it brought out um, <laughs> Indian's hair color so much more. Oh, but also that shadow just looks natural. I mean, yeah, I just on, on love, the, right there. I, yeah, I am obsessed yeah. with how you guys do lighting, it's so cool. One thing that I think Imogen really captured for some reason was just that. Like it's super, I don't know. You radiate something, yeah. Which I think without, without it, I don't know what we'd have. Mm. But it's not like you're pushing it. You're just, no, no, no. You exactly. Just embody, not even, not even Jules. You embody the the emotions that she's feeling very, very well and very subtly. It was funny to me because this. So usually it took us a couple of takes to get monologues done because it's one shot. Blah blah blah. We did all of these monologues just going straight through in two takes. Yeah. So from the beginning to the end, and I remember Ben and I were like, okay, so the first part was good in the first one, second part was good in the second one. So let's go with that. 8 a.m. Hey, I'm in this on one. On Saturday. Yeah, 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 you are, kid. So we got we got some future in star the actors. From left to right, it's Andy, <laughs> our boy Paxton, our boy Jack, Artoon, Ben, our boy Drew, and Marcus. Also, Artoon's costuming, where it's both blue and red, was totally on him and totally accidental. Although, totally brilliant. Yeah. Also, uh, Paxton and Drew wearing blue and red sweaters again. Complete yeah, accident. Like the t-shirts in the back, yeah. the sweatshirts. Like, no, you two in the back definitely yeah. got the memo, but Drew and Paxton did not. It just worked out great. <laughs> but I think one of the things earlier I was saying... I love all... We did so many takes of that. <laughs> yeah. um, there's, there are different ones where Marcus, like, reverses that uh, cadence, but they're, they're all great. I mean, we should yeah. just release them all. Yeah, yeah I was just... I was thinking yeah. this girl. But I was saying earlier about doing two takes, is the reason I brought that up is... This was the end, and I think you can. There is definitely a growth in our ability to not only get it done, but in actors and yeah. like lighting and everything. Like it was full circle, and this episode, I think, is the culmination of everything we worked on. 
Oh, I like that we brought back Rose. I She gets redemption. I'm gonna be honest, my biggest regret about Jules and Monty is that Rose was kind of an empty plot point. Like, we never really did much with her, and it was something for Monty's character, and like, that's why she was there, and showed that she there was a transitional presence. period. And there was presence, and I love her character in the I first episode. I also think she has more but we, like, never see than her the again. Rosaline in the actual plot. I don't know, in Fast Improvements over that, where we don't even get her on screen, or on stage, but like, I just, I wish we'd, I wish we'd had more in plot for her, but I love that. Like, yes, she was. Ah! All right, I was. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, can I say something about this? Yeah. All right, so this I think was like either the second or the third take. Yeah. The first take, ladies and gentlemen. So the first take. Um, I remember a certain Benjamin Taylor over here <laughs> had said. Now, now, Evie and I, mind you, like, yeah, we're we're pretty. I think she was shirtless or something, and and I. I don't know what my deal was. I think I was sure totally naked or something. <laughs> Completely naked. And, but in order to really sell it, um, I told her like, "Hey, like I'm really gonna be in your neck and just like all over you." And she says, "Very, res I, I love her so much. Very respectable actor." She's like, "Okay, like I understand. Let's do it." Ben goes action. And and we were told, okay, we're gonna wait five seconds, and then this, and then they're gonna come and in. The door's gonna start. open. Yeah. So Evie and I just start going at it, and we like just get even more and more passionate. Like we're, we're underneath cover, so I can tell how passionate it's getting. It's getting really intense, and like a solid like 15, 20 seconds pass by, and we're just like straight up dry humping <laughs> each other like, with no camera, no interrupters or anything. I get up. I look back and I just see Ben standing at the door with the camera in his hand just smiling at us. I'm like, Ben, what are you doing? And every night I start giving him so much crap. Oh, oh my god. And he's just amazing. giggling his ass off. The I fuck? wasn't even rolling. I mean, was, no, he was just... <laughs> that was the best yeah. part. The fuck you oh that uh, Evie says is definitely more, more to Ben. Yeah. 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 He absolutely. also wasn't... <laughs> wasn't running sound, but said to do oh, the sounds. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I told him they need to do the sounds really loud. Or yeah. Really well, really you know what? He just ate yard him anyway. Yeah. Oh, my See, God. I, I mean, I, I think, like, in another setting where it was just actors that didn't know each other or anything, oh, it would yeah. be very uncomfortable. But yeah. fortunately, we were all friends. We all it was know towards each other. the end of, yeah. Yeah, yeah we all know. After it's this, all good yeah. humor. But that's just another joke that he played, making us Closure. do loud, loud, <laughs> pleasing noises. Pleasure noises. I would let them go on that. Oh my god. Alright. I'm pretty I sure like, we're getting really. I like these these parting words mm -hmm. uh, that you worked with here because it shows that like she does put on a front for the vlog, but there's a little piece of her that is sad about this. Yeah. And she has to move on, but it's it's like it's finally we get to see that side of her that she's been hiding for a couple of episodes. <laughs> yeah. I love the after um the editing tutorial that you did on this episode oh, with the white yes. on yeah, white we'll, body. We'll, we'll, we'll look at it. Yeah. And different scene. Take. Yeah, different take. Different take. Damn. So yeah, I'm hiding yeah, that, under the table. That's really about. That's Not yet, no. Uh, when I sit down. When yeah, but I was already there. there. <laughs> no, 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 no we, we, changed, we changed the shot. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. <laughs> in the next movie, when he sits down, I'm under the table, and Andy had us do this thing, which I thought was really sure. cool. For, oh, sorry. Which I thought was really cool, where um, I slipped my hand in the Ed's and it'd be there when he was giving his speech about um, like loving me and missing me and blah 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 and then right as he got to the end of like but I'm not gonna have that I'd pull my hand away it was oh, very mean. Also, Andy made me run around, yeah. literally take a lap around the building, come in, do 20 push-ups in that coat, and yeah. then start the scene so that I would be a little bit out of breath. And sweaty, which looked better in with the light. Yeah, just a little bit. So yeah, uh, we weren't holding hands yet. You yeah. took my hand after I stopped being mad. <laughs> Which is yeah. probably a good idea. But you're not mad at me uh, anymore. I like I like the look of Monty in this because he kind of looks like Beethoven's cousin. <laughs> <laughs> the pop collar, the scarf, and the, the weird hair. Is just like Bob. I'm here. <laughs> Looks like a guy who would actually be named Monty. Yeah, yeah. Monty. 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 <laughs> yes, barely. Gen so there's Fra that. Benjamin <laughs> Franklin. Fair. Is that uh, what you took your Yep, that was it. So you know uh, what I loved about you guys too? Is just, like, I would come up with these ridiculous games, <laughs> but I, I would just present it, and then you two would live in it. Games are Which fun. was like, you, like, I don't know if that yeah. makes sense. 
It helped a lot. God. I'm there was actually a notable difference between takes beforehand yeah, when he was just kind of doing it off on his own island versus yeah, when he was connected to Jules. Mm -hmm. Well, it was a very different sort of thing. The first time it was, I remember being more aloof and just like, I'm talking to a camera. But the second time, you really grounded it, and I was like, I need to talk to her. And so, thank you for that game, no matter how silly it seemed. It was really helpful. It's cool because you get to hear from both of them Someone, and it in like very, very quick, to keep us apart. And I did everything uh, with I quick space between them. So you, you get to hear from page. Jules and Monty how they're dealing with this, and you recognize they're on the same page, but the circumstances aren't allowing them to come together, which is probably what makes this such a tragic ending, is that they could technically move forward from this point, but they're not given the power to. It's okay, head cannons are a real thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We never we never intended for this to be a happy ending, did Oh we? god, no, it's a tragedy. <laughs> no, but I mean yeah. there was like never a draft of the script never. that had a happy never. ending. Never, 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 never. So sorry. <laughs> I've never been on live television before. Never, never. I didn't think What? <laughs> Apparently kid. It's YouTube. Y YouTube has one. <laughs> there it is. It's YouTube. Having three kids with me. The whole fucking show. I just love how, how it's like, it, th this is a callback to like original Romeo and Juliet, like how like head over heels romantic he is, yeah. like, and that's a persona I think you meet in college too. Oh, absolutely. Like Monty's definitely the type to yeah. fall and fall hard. And, and and to think about things like that when he's 18 years old. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I figure fans in three yeah, years. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. also like... One of the things that we thought about a little bit when we were writing is that um, something that they said about House of Cards actually is they wanted Frank Underwood to be from the South so he could use really flowery language. The fact that he is so interested in poetry means that he's not afraid to express himself in a little bit yeah. more like bigger way. Like, yeah. He's used to that. Yeah. So saying the like the white big offense thing that's not entirely out of character for him. Oh, Whereas no, a normal person all. saying that would be a little weird. Jill well, said it would be weird actually. I, th yeah. I think so. Yeah. yeah, it's it's not quite in her character. Jill's not that poetic. Yeah, she's pretty practical. Uh, we moved two objects from the other desk. This was the mask that Jules wore to the masquerade ball. The other object is a very old copy of Romeo and Juliet that Imogen has. Mm. Ed gave it to me. I did. <laughs> for my birthday. And that's, um, that was a cut there. You can look at the editing behind Please the scenes. look at the editing yeah. behind the scenes. It's so cool. The silence always gets me. It just makes silence. me uncomfortable. When silence, silence is really powerful. Uh, oh, yeah. Also, it's just dead. And, and you can see how empty it is, the room. I cannot believe that you told your parents about it. But we deserve their favorite and flip the bird. <laughs> <laughs> this is just you two having fun. Yeah. <laughs> like all the all the dramatic stuff is over. You don't have to worry about it being emotional. You just have to enjoy each other's company. And you such, do. Such heavy lipstick. Such heavy lipstick. Oh, wow. Eyeliner lipstick on point. Well, people on, on you know, told me, uh, not, they, they associate Nancy with, like, the like, how lips. could they not? <laughs> yeah, especially in that, in the 100,000 views. Well, oh, yeah. Oh, God. Rain is not going to wait for the illustrious Jules Kane to get her shit together. The illustrious Jules Kane to get her shit together. It's like, even, like, the framing of this moment I really like, because it, it's personal and private, and... Mm. You don't necessarily need to see what she's doing. Yeah. You get it. Get it from your hands, too. All right, Internet. This is officially the end. No. Eyes look your last. Hmm. Arms this is actually one of my favorite places of integrating the text. I think it works really nicely it. here. It, it's cool, though, well, because it has a completely different... Mm. Yeah. I like how we address our audience in this episode, too. Mm. So that's the book Nancy, that Monty moved. Did you put this here? I don't remember taking it out of the box. I love the focus on this. With everything out just blurred and just Nancy. I remember standing outside the room listening to her do this. A story of more woe than this of Juliet and Oh, that was with the pen thing, right? Mm-hmm. Mm. Another game. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it was a pen thing. Um, the worst. It was, it was, so right before, right before she begins, I told her when she's ready to, because she's basically making a decision at that point there to delete all the content, mm. when she finally decides to do it, to 
close the cap on a pen and then say her line. Because mm -hmm. it's the, like, the yeah. Just Yeah, yeah, just, just to like, so that she knows what she's doing. And you can see it right before she close begins talking. That's really interesting. I actually, so we, we argued a lot, well, it didn't argue, we discussed a lot about the end of this, um, the idea that Nancy deletes all of the videos. And it kind of came down to, well, Jules could just Google this and see what her best friend had done and yada, yada, yada. She knows it's out there. Mm. Um, so it kind of became, in our way, it was our way of ending the story of it not being able, it's not something you can go back and repeat or, or change the outcome in any way. Like, it is a final ending. Um, and, 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 you know, it's forever deleted. <laughs> of course, in now what is canon is that Nancy then gave the footage to TUTV and said, yeah. you can upload it, <laughs> so that is why you get to see it. Red <laughs> con! Yeah. Um, but yeah, it is like it is supposed to be final and over, and it, Jules will never know that Monty loved her and came looking for her. Mm. I mean, I think she probably has an idea that something happened because she finds the book, but... I don't think I don't think her mind would jump to oh he's back yeah <laughs> she's given she's given up <laughs> yeah. Damn. so that is Jules and Monty <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching us blather on about something that we made a year ago yeah <laughs> but wow. it, it's I know right 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 but it's it's been such a trip for us mm. to mm. create this whole thing and just just a little bit over a year ago now is when we started filming Jules and Monty. And it was it was such a long ride and it was such a fun process and thank you for joining us from beginning to end. So that was a lot more somber than I wanted. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be around. Thank you guys! <laughs> Post questions, comments, we'll we'll still be here. We're, We're not, not going anywhere. anywhere. Um, and stay tuned for some super cool stuff. Yeah, right. Uh, cool stuff. There will be what? plenty more to come. Was yeah. I wearing this shirt all night last night for something you'll see? I don't know, oh. maybe. Did I walk in here and eat cold pizza? <laughs> what? Is there a tons of pizza night? over the were we doing something who knows? Is there another what? web series coming? What? Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. I wouldn't, I pump the brakes. Idea. Pump the brakes. Maybe there, feature maybe. film. Maybe. <laughs> Six uh, seasons and a movie. Thank you. <laughs> thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you so guys. much, guys. Goodbye. Uh, I'm going to go turn the... Yeah, bye. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> this is the real end, though. I'm going to leave this in. <laughs> <laughs> Bitten, 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 bitten